most people go and ha have had certain experiences where they felt like what I would call crossing the truth and going, whoa. I know I've had experiences in my own life. I'm like, that was true. It landed on me. It was quite, it was as light as a butterfly, but strong as a lightning bolt. I know that what I just realized is true for this time, that time, and all time. And I have to tell myself now, the hard work, Matthew, is going back into the busy society and maintaining it. Now, the problem with maintaining is I was doing tools to try and hang on to it, which is not what you're saying. No. You're saying, boy, it you happens. It, it doesn't need it, maintenance. It is, it's not See, maintenance. You're not maintaining the sky, are you? Nope. You're not maintaining the sky. So, in our uh, perception, in human perception, boundlessness means the sky. Boundary means the planet, in a way. Okay. okay. So, when something really boundless, you cross some limits. See, so many people, especially uh, maybe not so much in Texas, I don't know, but more in California, I'm going there in a few days. Everybody talks about how they broke their barriers because they smoked this, because they drank this, because they did this. See, all this is fine. I'm not saying it's not genuine. See, it can be induced in so many ways, okay? You can simply do it if you just dance yourself crazy. Uh, like, you know, how the Native American people were doing. They were just dancing themselves into states where uh, literally bordering on life and death kind of dance. But because of that, they broke through. But these kind of things, if you do, you will have experiences. Definitely, it may bring some sense of wisdom, but it will also get you addicted to that particular activity. If, if any... Ex what? What? Th that particular activity, maybe a dance, maybe a drug, maybe a smoke, whatever it is, I'm saying if you create any experience within you with a certain physical activity, naturally you will get addicted to that physical activity. It may be alcohol, it may be drug, it may be sexuality, it may be adventure, it may be jumping off the mountain. For different people, it may be different things. But essentially, you will get addicted to the activity because you see that activity as the source. Now, this is what is significant about the yogic process, that there is a step-by-step -step ladder if you climb. Then after that, without any activity, sitting in this space, you can be in that state. Once that happens, there is no maintenance. Voila! <laughs> <All right. laughs>